Hey guys, so let's discuss about AI-driven full-stack Web3 application development with Chain ID. Today, we will be creating a full Web3 application that will let any user to mint an NFT. And uh, that NFT will be having an image and description. That all will be done using artificial intelligence tools. And even if you don't have any coding experience, you will be able to follow this whole tutorial and will be able to create an NFT collection at the end of this video. So let's move forward without wasting any time. Uh, we will be using artificial intelligence generated content for generating, for creating this application, for creating our full stack Web3 application that will let any user to mint NFT and will have metadata for the NFTs, including images, description, traits, and that all will be done using ChatGPT and MidJourney, means artificial intelligence tools. So there are different tools that can help to generate uh, contents. There are like different artificial intelligence tools that can help to generate contents for Web3. Some are code helpers, some are uh, used for art generation, some are used for workflow automation. Workflow automation is a bit future. So for code helpers, tools are some of the tools are code pilot, cursor, tab nine, chat GPT. These tools can help you create a source code for your application in Web3 as well as in web development in other programming languages also. We will be talking about Solidity and blockchain. Uh, this can help you generate smart contract for your DApp, front end for your DApp, as well as back end for your DApp. So we will be uh, uh, having a live demo how to use this tool. Not all of these tools, we will be just using ChatGPT to generate the whole source code, metadata, and the front end for our uh, application. So for art generation also, there are tools that create realistic images using natural language such as DALI2, Midjourney, Stability.ai. You just need to give the description in natural language and these tools will create realistic images based on your description. And workflow automation is a bit future. Uh, for example, now we are using Midjourney and Chatbot. And automation tools are, you just need to provide the description and these tools will automatically use other tools to create your full application. So today we will be building an application using uh, AI tools with the help of AI generated contents. So here are the steps. Uh, we will be creating an ERC721 smart contract NFT metadata storage file will be built using JavaScript and will be having a dynamic logic uh, how to uh, return the metadata using IDs. And uh, we will be creating an NFT mint page using React framework. So here are some of the things that we need to discuss before we start our development. We need to have a metadata install, uh, sorry, we need to have MetaMask installed in, your, in our browser. MetaMask uh, is a Web3 wallet, uh, will be used for whenever we interact with our smart contract or when we deploy our smart contract and we will need some faucet, some dummy coins in our MetaMask wallet for the BNB test network. As we will be using BNB chain test network to deploy our this application. So we will be using chain ID to compile, deploy and interact with our smart contract. And we will be creating a, a, a front end in React using chain ID also. So there are different methods to log in uh, in chain ID. So let's move to a practical overview. So we go to chat GPT first and uh, write down the prompt, different prompts. So first of all, we will be creating a metadata for our NFT collection. Metadata is like all the information such as images, uh, the description, traits, each and everything. So I have written down prompts for how to create metadata for the NFT collection. Here is the very simple prompt. 
I will give to ChatGPT and it will provide me the answer. The prompt is please create an NFT collection metadata using an express server that returns an array of NFTs objects representing different planets in the universe and defines the route to return the specific NFT object based on its ID. For example, we will give ID and it will return us metadata, including image link, the description and traits. Please generate traits also according to the OpenSea standard. So here we give this prompt to chat GPT and see how is the response. So it is generating the response according to our requirements and make sure your requirements are very clear. The, clear. the clearer your requirements are, the clearer the results would be. So here there are different planets in the universe including Earth, Mars, and it is generating description, image, and here these links are not correct, maybe. And uh, we will be creating these links uh, using uh, images uh, using mid-journey. Let's see if it is correct or not. Uh, yes, this one is not correct. So we will have to generate links by ourselves uh, using mid-journey. Mid-journey is an artificial intelligence tool that will uh, help us generate realistic images using natural language. So here it has generated the metadata for our NFTs. Now it is time to go to Chain ID. Chain ID is a cloud-based ID that supports multiple blockchains, including Ethereum, BNP chain, and it is accessible at chainid.com. Here we can see, and uh, if we can uh, log in with GitHub, I already logged in. And here we will be choosing BNP chain. To create this project, we will be choosing a blank template. I already reached the project limit. The allowed limit is 10 and I already reached it. So we will have to download some projects in our local storage and we can delete some here. So here I will be choosing a blank template. Uh, first of all, we will be creating a metadata for our NFTs and for that we will be creating a, a folder called backend. And in that folder, we will be creating a file metadata.js. And here we will be pasting the code we got from uh, this chat GPT port, the metadata for our NFTs. Here it has metadata for three NFTs. If you want to create more, then you can mention the requirements like 100 NFTs or as much as you want. So for this demo, we will be using just three. The procedure is same for three or 3000. So you can do according to your requirements. So here we have copy pasted in the metadata.js and we will be using chain id sandbox to run to execute this file to execute this javascript file and the procedure is here first of all we will change the current directory to the backend and after that we will be initializing uh, uh, node.js project with package.js and uh, json having default values and then we will be installing express package here we have used express package and it is required to execute this file so we will, we will be uh, installing express package after we have uh, installed express package it's time to execute so to execute we will use npx node and then metadata uh, dot js the file we want to execute so here it gets executed and uh, the response is server listing at HTTP localhost 3000. Here we have written in the end this log. So here we will create a port using chain ID port manager and we'll use the same uh, values like 3000 and we will be able to access this metadata using chain ID port manager. So here we have the method to access this. We need to mention uh, URL like this, chainid.com planets. And here we need to mention the ID. As we mentioned the ID, we, we can see we have all the metadata for our NFT. Here is for one, here we can see for two. So this is the metadata for our NFT. The links are not correct. The images are not correct. So we need to generate images. 
To generate images for our this collection, we will visit Dali, oh sorry, Mid Journey. Mid Journey tool, which is an artificial intelligence tool that generates images using a natural language. So here we go. Here I have uh, uh, integrated uh, this bot into my server. You can simply go to their server or you can add this to your uh, your server by just clicking here add to server. I already added to my server and I already generated some images using this uh, uh, using this artificial intelligence tool. So the procedure is very simple. You just need to go to the server and click here uh, imagine. And here you need to give the prompt. For example, if you want to create images for the earth, so you just need to write down the earth or you can write down the description you got from the chat GPT. So here we wait for, it takes some time to generate images, but the image quality is very great, it's very helpful. Many people will use it for uh, their websites. So here it will generate images for the earth. And uh, you can use the description also, for example here, you can use the third planet from the sun and on the only known planet to support life. So it means earth, it also means earth. So let's see what is the difference between uh, if we give uh, these two. So here I give this one. So it is uh, generating images and it takes some time. Here we can see the image for the earth. So you can use these artificial intelligence tool to generate images for your NFT collection. So all we will do is using artificial intelligence tools. Even if you don't have any coding experience, you will be able to achieve all this uh, all this uh, like uh, you will be able to do by yourself even if you don't have any coding experience just using artificial intelligence tool here we have image here is upscale and here is if you want any variations in the image and we don't want any variations we just upscale and it will give the image for the earth and here is for the uh, Mars planet so here we will be using the images for our NFTs. So here the first one is Earth. I will be copying links for, from here, Earth. The method is very simple. Just go to Discord server and then copy on the link. Here we will be, uh, here you can see copy link and here just copy and paste in the image. And you can check also if it is correct or not. Yeah, here you can see is Earth, you can see the image for the Earth. The second one is Mars. So I will be copying for the Mars. Here we go, Jupiter, Mercury, Earth, Here we can create for the Mars. I think I didn't create for the Mars before. Mars planet. Yeah, here we have for the Mars. So I will copy link for this. Go here and change the link with the Mars. Here we have Jupiter. And we will be going again and search Jupiter. Oh, sorry. I need to cancel and then Jupiter. Here I will be copying link for the Jupiter and go to chain ID and change the link with the this uh, mid journey link. So now we have the images for our NFTs. And what we will do is uh, we will execute this uh, package again because which updated the link npx node meta data dot js. So now we can see the updated link. Here we go to port manager and here we can see the updated links now. There should be planets and one. 
here we can see the up links has been updated and uh, now we can go to these links and we can see these links are workable are good to go so we have generated the metadata using javascript and it has a dynamic uh, a strategy to get the uh, metadata for a specific NFT based on its ID. So we will be just giving ID and we'll be getting metadata. So the next step is to create the smart contract. So now we will be creating a smart contract here. We can create a folder smart contract. Smart contract. And we can name it planet dot as well. As we as you know, like smart contracts are written in solidity. So here I have written a prompt for our smart contract also. I will just copy and paste this prompt in the chat board and I will read this prompt. Uh, you can see all the requirements are very clear. Please create an NFT smart contract that meets the following requirements. Has an SPDX license identifier for MIT. It's like I identified uh, like it should use this license. Use the open sampling library. Use the Solidity version 0.8.0 or later. Make sure that only the contract owner can set the base URL. Means the URL for the NFTs images and uh, overrides the base URL function to return my base URL value. Has a public function named Mint. Usually, if we simply uh, query to create an ERC721 smart contract, it wouldn't have a Mint function. So we need to clarify all the requirements. We need to mention it. We need a public function named Mint, and uh, we don't need ID for this function, and we don't need token URL because we will be extracting the token ID and token URL from the metadata file we just created. And uh, let anyone to mint an NFT by paying 0 0.ETH or BNB. Here we are using BNB or so we will be using 0. Point, uh, we are using Binance chain, BNB chain, so we will be using paying 0 0.1 BNB. If we are using Ethereum, then we can use 0 0.1 uh, ETH. So it will be providing the whole a smart contract hopefully without any error and uh, after we get it we can see here it is according to our requirements i would like to say again all of your requirements should be very clear uh, if the requirements are clear then the results would be very uh, good you wouldn't have any problems or wouldn't have any issues uh, with your source code so here we got the source code and we will be compiling it using chain ID to check if there is any problem with the source code. Simply uh, use control plus S to compile your source code uh, or you can visit here compile module and uh, press the compile button. Here it is compiling and uh, here we can see smart contract and uh, npm open zeppelin. It extracted all the source code from open zeppelin. Uh, library because we uh, mentioned use open zeppelin library so our smart contract has been compiled successfully without any problem we got the abi code and byte code abi code is the application binary interface is used when we interact with our smart contract using front end uh, we, later we will be using react to interact with our deployed smart contract so then we will need abi as well as byte Oh, sorry, smart contract address. So here we have compile and the next step is deployment. So here we will deploy and here uh, we can name the NFT collection. So I will be naming it Planet NFTs. And uh, the symbol PLNT, Planet NFT. And the base URL will be the URL for the metadata. Here we go to the metadata. Uh, yeah url so it should include your file name also so here we will deploy our smart contract and before deploying we need to have metamask wallet installed in our browser and we need to have some dummy uh, bnb tokens 
for the test net. So here it has been added successfully and connected successfully. So we will press deploy button again and we will have to pay some gas fee when we deploy our smart contract as these smart contracts will be stored on multiple computers uh, around the world. So it will go as a minor fee. Uh, those who will uh, those like uh, store these smart contracts on their uh, systems. So here we can interact over with our smart contract. Here we can see all the functions written in our smart contract. The name uh, is Planet NFT's owner is I am the owner as I deployed the smart contract. And we can check the token URL and uh, we can see all the functions here. So now we will check to mint an NFT 0.1 ETH and uh, let's see the result. Uh, okay, let's see how it goes. So as I mentioned earlier, when we, whenever we make any transaction, we need to pay gas fee. When we deploy a smart contract, we need to pay gas fee. So here we can check the uh, status of your transaction. Once it is successful, you will be able to see here all the internal transaction, how much gas fee is used, what is the contract address, what is the uh, each and everything. So here our NFT has been minted. The name is Planet NFT. So let's check on the uh, OpenSea NFT marketplace. So we will go to OpenSea testnet. Here is the OpenSea testnet and uh, we will check our collections. I will go to my profile and check my created collections. It is still loading, just wait for a while. So here, uh, yeah, here we can see the collection is 45 and here we have Planet NFTs. Here we have this one. So the image is not loaded. Uh, I'm not sure if there is any problem with this. Oh yeah, I think we got a problem here. I need to npx node meta data dot js. It should be no uh, npx px node. Oh, sorry. We need to go to backend first, as our data is stored in the backend folder. CD backend. And uh, then npx, uh, then we will execute this uh, file again, npx node meta data.js. So here we will check it again. Planets one. Here we can see, and let's try to mint another NFT. I think the the this uh, metadata file was not live when we deployed our smart contract it needs to be live in the uh, this port manager so here we try to mint again 0 0.1 eth and let's see how it goes So it is uh, waiting for confirmation and here we can see in the planet NFT's collection after it is successfully minted. It should have all the, all the metadata including uh, description, images, name. Here we didn't get anything like we didn't get uh, even the name. So it's just one. So if it got successful, it will be like the name of the NFT. So here we can see uh, there was some problem with the metadata. So before we used uh, chain ID interaction panel to interact with our smart contract and to meet an NFT. So now we want to create our own React based front end, fr front end page that will let users to meet an NFT. So how to do that? For that, we will simply copy this smart contract and go to chat GPT. We will go here to chat GPT here I have already written uh, the prompt uh, for this. For example, we will copy and paste the smart contract address and we'll say the chat GPT to create a front end 
react based front end for this smart contract and please do not import the address from other file as i will be writing down uh, within this file and uh, i will provide them in the code and use the library to interact uh, with the source code uh, ether library as yes, there are two libraries ether and web3.js uh, and i mentioned i need to use ether library and do not import web3.js instead import ether library for interacting with our deployed smart contract and i already set the base url so you don't need to create a function for the base url so here we got the code we will simply go there and uh, here we need to write down a command prompt for the front end framework to install all the packages and libraries for the front end framework and px create react app and front end and after we execute we will get a front end uh, like this front end folder like this and all the libraries and functions will be in that and after we do that uh, we need to go to cd front front and and we will get the working directory into this uh, folder front end and then we will install npm install ethers and then we will install the specific version of the ether 5.7.2 as the updated version do not work well uh, with uh, web3 so we need to install a specific version 5.7.2 after we install this we need we need to go to this uh, front end go to app.js and then we will uh, paste the code we got from the chat gpt to this uh, app.js we will paste here and later we will have to change the contract address from here to the our contract address here and we will have to change the abi according to the contract of our uh, abi of our smart contract address here we will be pasting the abi of our smart contract so now we will uh, be executing this uh, all the libraries and functions are already downloaded we will be just like that now npm start and it should execute the file here app.js and all the uh, libraries that are needed will be executed using this command so after it gets executed so we need another port manager for this we will be writing down yes uh, so it will uh, provide us another port and we will use that using chain id port manager to access uh, the front end and it should let us to mint an NFT using our front end. Before we mint it using chain ID interaction panel, here we get like we got all the uh, metadata with our NFT traits and description, the image we uh, uh, generating using the uh, this uh, mid journey board. So here uh, we go, here is 3001. We will be creating another port uh, for this front end 3001 and click add and after we visit it we should be able to mint an nft here we got the front end and connect wallet mint nft uh, what is the problem uh, let me check uh, wait a minute did we change it oh here sorry here is the problem here the brackets needs to be removed and this one I'll, this one also so now it should be fine, I think. So we will have to execute it again, npm start. And so it will execute the file again and uh, we should be able to mint an NFT now because, uh, yes, because there was a problem, I didn't uh, delete the, these uh, marks. So here we should be able to access on 3001 port now and if we click connect wallet my wallet is already connected i think so i will click mint nft button here it is asking for connection and asking for 0 0.1 bnb because we set the price for this nft 0 0.1 and uh, bnb and now it is uh, minted successfully we saw the notification minted successfully and we can check on the opensea.io and here we should be able to see two nfts now here it takes a little time to update on the uh, this open sea.
So here we can see it is uh, like loading, but it is taking a little time. So here we can see an other NFT minted successfully, Jupiter and Mars. So one is minted using the chain ID uh, interaction panel and the other one is we minted using our uh, the front end uh, React based front end. So here we can see we have minted two NFTs. We wrote down the metadata for two NFTs and if we mint more than that, then we wouldn't be able to get the metadata for our NFTs. So that was all like how you can use uh, artificial intelligence tools. Here uh, we have traits also to create uh, NFT based uh, a full Web3, a full stack Web3 uh, application. Here we have a full stack Web3 application using front end, back end, uh, back end with metadata and uh, smart contract we deployed on the BNB smart chain. So that was all. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like us on. Uh, so don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Uh, here we have Twitter channel chain ID. And if you get any any problem, you can reach us to our Discord chain ID. Here is chain ID. And you can reach us to our Discord server on the chain ID front page. Here if you go to chainid.com and you can find here our Discord server. And feel free to reach us if you face any problem and if you have any question and don't forget to follow us on our uh, Twitter channel. Thanks for watching and stay in touch with us for more updates. See you guys.